but she butchered my name so bad. She was like Indra in Indrania, Indran. And you know when you're a kid, like all you want to do is blend in with everyone else? Well, I felt like I stuck out like a sore thumb, so I'm like, here, just call me Annie. And so literally I went through 28 years of my life as Annie because I just wanted to fit in. So I'm sharing this with you guys because there's so many stories that people have. And you may see people as successful or pretty or smart, but you don't know what's going on with them. So it's all about staying in your lane and being able to see what you love about yourself and know that everyone is going through a hard time or has gone through a hard time. And that's what it's all about is embracing it, honoring your journey, and knowing that you're here and you're exactly where you are for a reason. So all of those times when I was growing up, my parents were together but they fought all the time. I was a part of a lot of vicious fighting and breaking of dishes and cops being called to our house all the time. And so what I did was I shut myself in the closet. And in my closet, I started dreaming about a better life, about when I was a parent, the decisions I would make, and how my kids would get grossed out because my husband and I would be so affectionate with each other. Because I didn't have that at all. I just wanted my parents to have that kind of affection. And that's where my positivity came from. That's where I had to find that silver lining because nothing else was going on. Nothing else was going right in my life. And that's what got me to where I am today. So a little bit about positivity. What that means to me is it's about the silver lining. And not like, oh my gosh, everything's going great. It's, we love life. It's so easy to be positive when things are going right. Right, guys? Yeah. yeah. So good. Things are great. You know, I got some money in my pocket. I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. You know, whatever that is to you. But when things don't go your way, and when things are rough, and you don't get that job, or you get into a fight with someone, or something happens, that's when you need that silver lining, that thread to say it's going to be okay. And that's what it's all about. So I want to share with you guys the, the power of positivity. And then we're going to go into three tips that you guys can do now to create a happier life and a more successful life. Are you guys ready? Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. yeah. Woo. Okay, that's a little better. We'll, we'll get a little bit more engaged as, as we go on. So that works for now. So guys, um, you know, studies have shown that positivity is real. And the people that are more positive are happier and more successful. And they see the world in a different way. And now, there's people that, you know, there's DNA and there's genes and hereditary components of depression. And there's some people that, I'm sure that you know them in your life, that are naturally high on life and happy all the time. Do you guys have that in your life? People that are just happy all the time. It's kind of annoying sometimes. <laughs> I got that too. I mean, people will probably say that about me sometimes too, so it's, it's okay though. And then there's some people that are kind of like, I call them like Eeyore, like Winnie the Pooh, that are kind of like, oh, gosh. I can't wait until the weekend. Oh, gosh, life is tough. And, you know, always kind of complaining. Do you guys have those people in your life? Well, a lot of that is our genes, and a lot of that's because of, of what we've grown up with and what we've seen with our experiences with our family and our friends and our environment. But the cool thing is, is studies have shown that you can actually work on your positivity level and you can increase it on your own. So that's something that's a huge breakthrough that regardless of wherever your level is in life, you can increase your positivity. And in Oprah Winfrey says this herself, that she's not a very positive person. She's more the way she is was, she is it's not complacent, but she's um, a roller coaster. She's content. Yes, thank you. She, she's content. And so many people are like, wait a second, it's over. Why should she be happy? And that's another thing we'll get into is that success does not equal happiness. And I am the result of that. But knowing these three tips and knowing that you can increase your positivity, which will increase your success is what really gets me excited, and I'm hoping that this one gets you as well. So, does, does everyone here know Oprah Winfrey? Have you heard of her? Yeah, yeah. Does anyone sure, sure. Has not heard of her in the room? Okay, awesome. Well, I'm sure you guys know a little bit of her story. And I'm going to share with you some examples of the people that are so famous right now. They have challenges right now. They have the experiences. They have the hands that are on the floor. 